Hello. Yes, yes. <laughs> I will talk a little about since I don't have anything better to do right now. I decided to say a few things about uh, the last episode of Game of Thrones. Yes, why not? Well, or maybe the first three episodes. Or, uh, anyway, it has been a really remarkably good season so far <clears throat> and I'm sure all of you agree uh, most of you anyway uh, well in the last episode we finally got to see the long awaited uh, uh, meeting of Daenerys and Jon Snow Yes, it was. Uh, it was interesting. It was like I kind of thought it would be a little bit reserved, and uh, you know, it did things didn't go so smoothly as you know. <laughs> it would have been too too predictable and trite uh, to if it had been just you know nothing but fr friendship from the start between them uh, so I I think uh, but uh, in the last scene uh, it worked out I, I believe as most of us wanted to <laughs> wanted it to but it also brings another uh, challenge uh, it puts John in a difficult spot because at at one uh, on one side he is the king of the north and uh, his people uh, would not accept him bending the knee you know to the nurse uh, since they have they for the first time got a king that uh, didn't die after only a, a year or two i mean uh, they waited a long time to you know become an independent kingdom again they will not give it give that up for sure and uh, so uh, <laughs> While on on other side, uh, John will perhaps be well. When the whole thing ends, of course, uh, it depends how it ends. But if Daenerys gets the power, if she gets her wish to rule the Seven Kingdoms, and I believe she will, most likely, then uh, of course she will not be content on ruling six king kingdoms instead of seven but at the same time you know you you have uh, of course all of us know now by now that John is really he's not a uh, Stark not on his father's side anyway so he's actually the nephew of <laughs> Daenerys that's kind of funny you know. I think um, even though they are about the same age um, but yeah on the other side you have a uh, Sansa who now is uh, you know more and more starting to assume uh, a strong role in in governing the north and Winterfell and uh, with a little finger of course by her side of course i don't expect her to you know try to usurp john's uh, uh, john's place john's position but uh, who knows what can happen if john comes back 
next step is when uh, you know tries to you know be too diplomatic about the whole thing with the nurse you know then uh, she may well become uh, disappointed and even anger that his perceived weakness you know in that matter so uh, it's a really difficult situation of course if he you know sticks to his guns and you know as king of the north king in the north you know <laughs> just you know tries to to maintain his independence and the north's independence and his role as the king then uh, of course that will bring him into co conflict with the Emirates, and he doesn't want that and Tyrion <laughs> by extension he doesn't want that he's good friends with Tyrion they both like each other and they relate to each other because they both have a tough had a tough upbringing upbringing so yes i don't think that will be a problem however daenerys will not prove to be john's biggest problem i think because it will be ultimately maybe Sansa and, and Littlefinger yes I would say so Littlefinger is uh, well we know what he is trying to do what he always is <laughs> trying is to get more power get more powerful so yeah if he you know managed manages to manipulate Sansa into you know and especially I believe in the end it will be most likely him who will reveal uh, get to know that secret somehow about John's true parentage and then he will reveal reveal it and of course John will no longer be the king and since Bran cannot be the king <laughs> either and uh, you know who is left the only one the eldest stark left to rule is sansa of course i don't know how how ready the northmen will accept a woman as their ruler but you know if john is uh, uh, revealed uh, to be uh, Stark on his mother's side and you know he has no claim to rule so uh, that's it okay and, uh, we saw also that uh, uh, Cersei got her revenge on Elaria by poisoning her her only uh, child her daughter and that was just really I kind of wanted Elaria to get a taste of her own medicine because uh, what she did with uh, Marcella was really despicable she punished a child for the sins of her mother you know <laughs> it's really you know yeah so she had it coming no doubt and uh, even those of us who don't like of course most of us don't like Cersei at all but I think many of us kind of were okay with that you know kind of approved of her doing that you know even though that girl was in innocent but so was Marcella and, well not she wasn't that innocent after all she did kill you know a few people already so uh yeah, I was really glad to see her sisters or half sisters get also get theirs from Euron. It was really I I never I never liked those. Uh, I wasn't fond of the characters in the books either, but also those ac actresses I just didn't like. You know, they kind of went on my nerves. They all 
also look kind of you know not quite like they should be like the women should women should look a little too <laughs> oriental but anyway uh, uh yes it was uh of course lady olena also another major player who was in this uh, alliance with uh, Elaria and uh, and Daenerys? She also was. Uh, she died, and uh, we also found out that she was the one who poisoned, poisoned actually Joffrey, which was a bit of a surprise, but yeah. Uh, I knew it wasn't Tyrion, of course, but uh, I kind of thought it was maybe Sansa or that guy, that fool, <laughs> that poor knight that did it, who knows. I, or I actually I thought it was Littlefinger, <laughs> but it wasn't, was it? No. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, so we saw the uh, Ansali take uh, the, the Casterly Rock, but it was to no use because it was uh, emptied already. And then those damn Rageous Eurons guys burned their ships, so it means they are now pretty much stuck. And uh, even though Grey Worm survived this time, I'm not sure if he will survive this series or this season even. I'm not sure. I wouldn't bet on it. So, uh, yeah, there. It was a really, yeah. And, uh, but one good news was that Sir Jorah was cured of uh, Grey Scale. That was a pretty touching scene when he and Sam, you know, were uh, saying like goodbye and stuff. Because uh, I never expected expected the them to meet, but it's so interesting that they did meet because uh, Sam knew Jorah's father, of course, very well and was saved by him so uh, yes but uh, one thing uh, that I must mention there is I was kind of disappointed that uh, they left out this scene from uh, season 3 was it when when uh, Jor was killed in the rebellion or oh, season 4 I'm not sure <laughs> anyway in the books, uh, when before he dies, Jor, Jor tells uh, Sam to tell tell my son Jorah to take the black. And I thought that was very powerful, very good, good, uh, you know, thing, good scene. But they left it out, so uh, now <laughs> in the series. Uh, Sam could not, of course, do that because he wasn't told <laughs> by Jor. Had it had it had been more in interesting if he had told him, you know, your father told you his dying wish was that you take the black, instead of him running back to Daenerys, who doesn't really, perhaps doesn't w w want him there. And he's not like it's not like they are, you know they need him so badly because <laughs> they do have the dragons and the unsullied still so it would have been better had he gone to the wall instead and you know helped uh, them to defend against the uh, white walkers but that's how it went sometimes they change they change uh, uh, 
these screenwriters change things from the books and not always to the better of course rarely to the better I think yeah what else was in the last episode um, uh, not much from that about I of course I enjoyed uh, the reunion of John and Tyrion really heartwarming reunion and the stuff that they Tyrion told him while he was you know standing there on that cliff John was standing and Tyrion was you know like yeah you're not you're not a prisoner here and uh, yeah you you know <laughs> he told him some really he gave him some good advices he told him you know just uh, go get your dragon glass and you know he helped him focus on what his he what was most necessary and not just think about well him having whether he was gonna kneel <laughs> bend a knee for the nurse or not so uh, that was yeah very helpful yes hmm yeah, I cannot really say much <laughs> what will happen. I I mean, I. It's uh not that easy to predict uh, what will happen in the next episode. Of course, Arya is headed towards uh, Winterfell, so I guess we will see yet another uh, sibling re reunion there. Which will be interesting, I'm sure. Yes. Uh, uh, Lord Berk and uh, Tauros are still in the game. But uh, one thing that I'm kind of puzzled by is that they didn't really include uh, Lady Stoneheart yet. Which is, of course, uh, Caitlyn Stark, which was resurrected. Um, yeah, I don't know if they are going to include. I I, I don't think so because uh, Arya has already done what Lady Stoneheart, uh, Stoneheart in the books, uh, you know, wants to do. That is to kill all the phrase. So that was good. <laughs> we got rid of those bastards. Yeah. So. Uh, that was all, yeah, it was a really good uh, se season, I, I think and hope it will stay as, as good, so that was all.